AMT's 50th anniversary 1953 Corvette. Coming up next on What's in the Box. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and welcome back to our continuing series of What's in the Box where we look at model car kits. And today I've got a classic one from my own collection. This is the 50th anniversary 1953 AMT Corvette kit. And now let's go down and open up the plastic on this baby. The sports car scene really started to take off in 1953 and Chevrolet wanted to bring a car of their own into the market. So they brought out the 53 Corvette and AMT Ertl has done a nice job in their 50th anniversary series. Now this goes back quite a few years. It goes back to 2004 three actually which would make sense okay so here we start off with a really large instruction sheet I'm talking really large I'm talking an instruction poster at this point I can't even fit that on frame however now what makes this kit unique actually is that there was some retooling done the original kit that came out was a 55 Corvette, and AMT Ertl reduced it down, or backdated it, I should say, to a 53. And I do believe there are some parts in here, like this custom valve cover and the manifold, where you can convert this car to a 1964. 54. <laughs> Whoops, 10 years out of date. But anyway, yeah, because the original had that type of engine, and then they added in the uh, side draft exhausts and everything. So yeah, you'll have to look that up. And here is the interior with the the stock steering wheel and your choice of a custom steering wheel. And there's our front body going together and the suspension. And then we have our chassis and suspension and everything going there, as well as the end where it shows opening hood. And of course your removable convertible top. You can also pose the wheels in this, I do believe. But yeah, very, very cool kit. Now let's have a look at the plastic. So I'll just move this out of the way. So there, in a nice little bag, you have your windows, and it also includes the side windows in that for the up to convertible top, so that you can have it enclosed to try to keep dust out of it from your shelf. There's our body. I might as well just leave this in the bag, but you can see there's some pretty nice detail to it. The trunk and doors are molded shut, and the hood has a nice opening there. So pretty simplistic. We've got some choice of tires here. There's the Firestone Skinnies, which would be stock, and then these big Goodyear monster type Rally GT tires. Now, underneath this green piece of paper are the deck halls, which are pretty late 1990s, early 2000s type of graphic on there, as well as you get these nice 50-year Corvette license plates and the infamous I Love Model Cars decal. <laughs> I love that thing. <laughs> okay. And now we get into the bag that I will actually open. These are the interior panels. So I've got my trusty old Boy Scout pocket knife from 1986. <laughs> I thought the bag was going to open there, but I guess I'll just have to cut it open. Okay, let's take the parts out and just have a look. So to start with, we have our 
chassis, or not a chassis, but our interior. And look at the side separate side panels with the nice detail on them, even including the little rivets that they use to punch in for to hold the upholstery pattern to the door. And there's our suspension, and as you can see, it's got the posable front linkage, and the tie rods, and our firewall. And then here we have an independent frame, as well as a two-piece dashboard, so that you can paint that nice detail there with the instrument panel. There's our splash aprons for under the hood. And here we have the transmission in our seats, the springs, and our wheel backs and radiator, battery, that sort of thing. Some very nice detail on it. Here's the engine, the old Chevy Stovebolt inline six, which was pretty popular. Um, actually, it was the only motor that Chevy had because this is just before the V8. And that's what makes this different from the 55. So 53 to 55 is the same car, except the 55 has the new Chevy V8 engine. And there's our hinges and clips for the hood, as well as our two steering wheels. Well, there's a lot of injection pin marks under here that you're going to have to file off. And it also has that. It's uh, for the 55 kit for if you wanted the blower on that blown Chevy V8. And that brings us to our chrome pieces. And you do get some nice wire wheels here, actually, as well as the original Corvette hubcaps with the fake spinner. And our teeth for 53. The, those were Chevy teeth, which were very popular. And there's a custom sunken in grill. Of course, you can add a black wash in there to bring out the highlights. And it's got those nice kind of French headlights in there, which were popular, sunken in. And that brings us to the conclusion of our 1953 Corvette kit. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Hobbies What's in the Box, where we got to look at the 53 Corvette kit from AMT Ertl, one of America's first sports cars. So, if you would like to check out some of our other car videos, please click here, click here, and click down here, and don't forget to like and subscribe to us right here, so I can continue to open up all my model kits at home. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway, we'll talk to you later.